All right, guys. So I'm here in Factorio. I think I am the only one to make a functioning iridium ingot production line. I looked everywhere, factorioprints.com, all over the place. The find one of these and the only one I found doesn't even work. It just it completely clogs the belts with unnecessary things. Anyway, so I'll start at the top here. We've got all these pulverizers making the crushed iridite, the washer radiite. All these chemical plants make the washed iridite, right? And then over here, these all make the iridium powder, and they get put on this belt into here, into here, to make iridium ingots, which all come down here into these crates. And then this assembly line on the back is the output here. It's doubled up, as you can see. Half is iridium powder. The other half is vulcanite blocks. So. All right, watch this. All I need to do is come up here. Here, it's in sheet mode. I'm just on a, I'm on a throwaway save just to show you guys the blueprint. So I'm just gonna grab some the radite, right? You throw this stuff in here. I put it only on this side just cause but you're gonna wanna put it on the left side, obviously. So this will all start working, and then this makes its way down here. Of course, the beauty of this, only one side of the pulverizers need to be functioning for both sides of the chemical plants to work. All right, makes its way down, look at that, it's in there, boom. Just need to let them fill up. Of course, I barely put any in, so it is going to take a while. Boom, they start. And uh, this has no speed modules in it. If you'd like, you can fill them up with speed modules in your M-Save. I figured it would just be easier. All right, so they get outputted onto these belts. They come all the way down here, and they get stored in these crates. As you can see, the arms just picked them up and threw them in there. Now, the excess materials, which would be sand and... So, the sand from all of these gets fed through on these little belts here. And gets put into these and turned into landfills. And the extra anion exchange beads get put right back in on top to get fed back into the machines. And the rock, the extra rock from making washed irradiate, gets brought all the way up here and gets turned into landfills as well. So there's practically no waste, you're just going to need to empty out the landfills every once in a while. And um, this also, it doesn't include anion exchange bead production, but that's really easy to set up. It just requires a couple of chemical plants. It has full RoboPort coverage, as you can see. Full RoboPort coverage. It doesn't include this power grid. This is just so I can show it to you guys. And it also doesn't include the pump. You're going to need to put the water in yourself. But, you know, that's just how it goes. But other than that, it's completely functional off the bat. It's got full power coverage, a nice clean power grid here. And it should never clog up with resources in the wrong spots. So you've got the whole thing here. And um, of course, you can find this on factorioprints.com. I will put the link to it in the description of this video. 